to another video today actually i am doing a sit down i like sit down videos i don't know why i feel like sit downs are just easy to record you just sit down and talk but guess what i wanted to kind of spice it up a little bit because i don't want it to be boring of course you know if you just sit down and you are just blabbing 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 it gets boring because people are not being entertain the way that they want to so I kind of incorporated this mukbang so this is actually a sit down mukbang chat with me video um, yeah so I have everything on my tray here and if you have been following my channel you know that I love fish I love baked fish I can actually eat baked fish like every day of my life I can eat anything that has to do with fish be it salmon be it baked be it fried like anything that has to do with fish calm me i have everything here i'm just going to show you guys what i have so i have my pepper sauce i have my baked tilapia i love tilapia i have my baked tilapia here and i cut some onion and sprinkle on top and I also have my plantain, my red plantain, and I sauteed this shrimp in my frying pan with some coconut oil. Oh my god, like the flavor that comes from it is so good. And then I have my cucumber with my ranch dipping. In my last video, I showed I told you guys if you have never tried cucumber with ranch dipping, like go ahead and do it and come back and thank me later yes guys so and then of course i have my orange soda here i don't drink soda like that i don't remember the last time i actually drank soda but to enjoy my meal i just wanted to pop that in yes yeah, so um i have so i've actually been on intermittent fasting so this is actually my first meal of the day i just broke my fast and i'm, and I'm you know um, eating this you just go ahead and taste everything and then we get started mm. 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 the coconut flavor is really powering and i love it So now that I've tried everything, let's go ahead and get started. So guys, um, I just want to be more personal with you guys. I feel like I am not that personal when it comes to sharing here, but I want to be more personal because I believe we are family now. Um, I'm someone, there are certain things I really don't care sharing. I know other people care about certain things, but I really don't care about certain things. I don't care as long as I know the information I'm giving and I know what I can withhold. I, you know, yeah. But guys, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about my marriage. I want you guys to tell you the truth about my marriage, okay? Um, So, if you don't know, so my husband and I, we have been married now, we have been together, like since we met until we got married until now, we've been together for 14 years. I met my husband when I was, I think like 21. I was 21 or 22 when I met my husband and um, 
and right now I'm 36. If you don't know, I'm 36. I was born in 1985. Yeah, so right now I'm 36, and I met my husband. I was between 21 and 22, I would say. And um, since then, we've been together, we've been striving, we've been having our lows and our ups, just like every other relationship. Um, so when I met my husband, I was still staying with my parents. Um, when I met him, I didn't have anything. I wasn't driving, I didn't have a driver's license. Um, I wasn't in school, or maybe I had just finished high school, something like that. So, I met him pretty fresh, pretty, pretty young. And um, from there, we just started building our household. We started building our castle. We just started building our, our relationship. My husband is three years older than me. So when I met him, uh, he was young, I was young. And of course, like every young couple, we had our ups and we had our downs. There were so many mistakes that we made and we learned from. And um, But at the end of the day, what mattered was that we stood together. What mattered was that uh, we never let go. Um, what mattered was that we believed in ourselves. So we had our ups, we had our downs, even up to now. We still have moments where we don't even talk to each other. We have moments where we argue, we have moments where things come up. Um, but at the end of the day, we find a common ground to learn on. So, as a young couple in our 20s, we had a lot of outsiders that wanted to come in our relationship and tell us what to do, tell us how to do it, and with whom we should do it. Um, just as I said, we stood strong. Uh, we never gave listening ears to so many people. Mm. You know, um, When we met, of course, love love draws two people together, but at the end of the day, love does not sustain any relationship. Love is just like a foundation for you guys to kickstart whatever you guys want to kickstart. But as you go on with the journey, you realize that love is not enough in every relationship. Like, that is the truth. Love is never enough. There's more to it than love. Patient. You have to be patient. You have to have confidence. You guys have to have good communication skills. You guys have to, you have to feel the other person's shoe. Things like that really does matter in any relationship, be it husband and wife, be it mother and daughter, father and son, you know, those kind of, any, in any relationship, love at the end is always not enough, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm always proud to say that, of course, I'm always proud to say I am happy for how long we have gone, for how long we have come, um, and we are still going strong by the grace of God. It's not by our grace, but by the grace of God. Um, we are going strong 14 years now that we have been together and we have been married for it's been 14 good years. Guys, that's not, <clears throat> it's not being so. It's not being, to tell you guys the truth, it's not being so. 
Yeah, so I met my husband, my 21, 22 years old. We had our first child, and our first child, Muna, Muna, um, this December, Muna actually turned um, 12 years old. So you can imagine, she turned 12. Which means when I met my husband, we kind of dated like one and a half years to two years, and then we had our, you know, we decided to make our family. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, my husband is more of like he's like that quiet person. He doesn't talk much at all. My husband is more of on the quiet side, and I am more on the boozy side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more like, but you know, both is like not in a bad way, um, because I feel like there are certain things I do because I want things to go right, because if I just sit down and away from my husband or just sit down and listen to my husband, a lot of things will go wrong, just as he, if he just sit down and listen to me, a lot of things will go wrong, so we kind of complement each other. Wherever my husband is weak at, I come in. Where I am weak at, he comes in. So that's how we've been doing it over the years. But I'm more of like planning, more of like let's get things on time, more on like, you know, I, I'm like the master planner in everything that we do. If I have any plan in mind or I think of anything, Will my husband have any plan? If he has any plan in mind, or he thinks of anything, he brings it up to me, and as well, I do bring it up to him, and we sit down and talk about it. Like, what should we do, or how are we going to do this? You know. But at the end of the day, I do the planning. I do the thing. I do most of the thinking, <laughs> and I do most of the management. Um, you know, and. I want to say it is a good thing when you have somebody that listens to you, somebody that believes that your idea towards the family is actually a good thing or that will heal something. Because when I was dating, I dated men that were very argumentative. I hate men that are very argumentative. I've dated people that are very argumentative before. And it just wasn't my taste, you know. So um, it's good to have somebody that, you know, will actually listen to you. Um, yeah, my husband is quiet. He doesn't talk much. Um, of course, I, th I feel like that's how most men are, even though not all, but most men are like that. Oh, he doesn't talk very much and um, and I'm not going to say he listens to me all the time not all the time that he listens to me but I'm more like the showrunner of my house because without me I believe like so many things would not go right without me I feel like my husband would just like when he stays home with the kids give them he gives When he stays home with the kids, he gives them so much freedom that they do whatever they want to do, and that is not me. That is not what you get from me. That is not what my children will get from me. They know that. So most times they kind of take advantage, like when I go to work or I'm not out of the house, things they know I would not allow them to do, that is when they do it. Oh, that is when they ask my husband if they should do that or take that. When I come home, guess who I flip on? My husband. Because why did you let it? If I'm saying don't do this or don't take that or don't, you know, it's for their own good. Yeah, so that's the kind of person my husband is and that's the kind of person that I am. Um, of course, again, I said we are not perfect. But are we making it work? Yes. Is it difficult? Yes. Do you kind do we feel sometimes like giving up? Yes, of course, so many times. 
you know. Um, I remember when my husband and I were still dating. Well, not dating, when we were together, we were already married actually. I remember he used to do me every, any little thing he did to me, I was packing my bag. I would pack my bag. Sometimes <laughs> I'll pack my bag and I'll call my mom. I said, Mom, I'm coming home. My mom would not say anything. It used to point where my mom was just like, you know what, whatever. <laughs> but guess what? There was never a day I actually packed my things when I slept. I was like, I'm done. No. Each time I packed and went back, he would either come for me or I will go back on my own. So, <laughs> I used to have a suitcase that I kept it on the side. Like, I need a little thing and pack my things in that little suitcase and then I'm like, I'm leaving. I feel like it's a girl thing. Most girls feel like when they're angry, you expect your yeah, partner to kind of pamper you. When you go in a relationship, of course, as a woman, most especially, you expect it to end in a marriage. But not every relationship actually ends in a marriage. Um, so, uh, as a quick thing. Um, so, And in America here also, you want to get somebody that is hardworking. You don't want to get those lazy. There are some men that they are so lazy. Um, they will love you while you are home. They will love you in the night. They will love you at every point. But when it comes to going to work, those men would not go to work. They will just want you to work your butt up. So you don't want to have somebody like that. You know, because when I feel like a home is happy when a woman is happy, if a woman is not happy in a home, then there is no happiness. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to share my little journey with you guys how I met my husband, how we have managed to be where we are today, and how it is going. Um, I just want to thank God that I'm so grateful, I'm so happy that I found someone like him and he also found someone like me, of course, uh, because it takes two to tango. So, um, guys, I'm so full. I am so, so full. The fish is very fulfilling. Um, I'm going to try and eat a little bit more. Oh, but let me drink some. So I'm going to end this video by just saying that um, in everything, by saying that in whatever you are doing, never ever seek another person's opinion but your own opinion. Um, and if you are a young couple, uh, you know, just getting into a relationship, or you are, or if you are in a relationship, don't make the kind of mistakes that we make don't listen to outsiders don't let no one tell you how to manage your relationship don't also introduce a lot of people into your relationship because the more people you introduce the more problem you have there's a saying that two is a company but three is a crowd and that is so true guys don't involve so many people into your relationship even if you guys are burning your house down no matter what is happening, you know, even if you are killing each other, um, don't involve so many people into your relationship. You might have one person that you can kind of confine in, which I do, or which we do, you know, when you have problem, but don't take your problem to so many people, because at the end of the day, not everybody wants the best for you. Yeah, not everybody wants the best for you. Um, yeah. So, guys, um, yeah. So, 
this year is ending and it, it this year is ending and it was our 14th 14th year's anniversary and we thank God for our journey so far. Um and our parents are been always very supportive. So guys, yeah, I just wanted to come and chit chat with you guys because I said I want to open more I want to be more open with you guys about me. I want you guys to know more about me because if I have chosen to be on YouTube, I have chosen to share certain things with you guys. Yeah. So that's about it for this video because I don't want it to be too long. Okay. Guys, so I will end the video here and I hope to see you guys in my next video. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, like, 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 go ahead and do that. Hit the notification bell as well so that when I when I post videos, you know, you get notification. And uh, without much talking, I would let you guys go and I would see you guys in my next video.